The revelation this week that Senator Jackie Lambie's son is an ice addict has reignited debate about whether to introduce mandatory drug rehab centres. Some hospitals, though, are using different methods to tackle the ice epidemic. One clinic, for example, is getting good results by treating addicts with a medication commonly used for ADHD. Here's medical reporter Sophie Scott. These graphic images show just how destructive the drug ice can be. This week, Tasmanian Senator Jackie Lambie spoke of her own son's struggle with the drug. I'm a senator of Australia and I have a 21-year-old son that has a problem with ice. And yet, even with my title, I, can, I have no control over my son. I can't involuntarily detox my own son. While there's no strong evidence compulsory rehab works, clinics are seeking new ways to help ICE users. Hey, Brendan, hi. At this clinic at Sydney St Vincent's Hospital, patients are given long-acting dexamphetamine, a drug often used for ADHD. The drug that we're using, it's, it's a stimulant drug similar to methamphetamine, but it's used at lower doses. It's once a day, it's a tablet, and it smooths out the kind of highs and lows that people using methamphetamine experience so that they mightn't experience some of the withdrawal effects. But there's a long wait for any treatment. We don't have enough resources for voluntary treatment, so already we have people wanting to come to treatment that are having to wait several months for treatment. It's something Greens leader Richard Di Natale wants to change. We spend a lot of our money and effort in policing and law enforcement around individual users. It doesn't work as a deterrent and it means that we're wasting a lot of money that could be invested into treatment in other areas. He'll ask the government to set up an independent scientific panel to advise on drug policy. Meanwhile, Senator Lambie says she'll keep campaigning for thousands of families going through the same ordeal. Sophie Scott, ABC News.